All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Smithified Podcast. Today, we are on episode number 10. This is a huge episode, and we had to get that hype sound effect in. I just looked that up on my phone, played it through the mic, because that's all you need. All you need for a podcast is a mic and a phone for notes, I think, or a sheet of paper if you want to be from the 50s. But nevertheless, we're back with episode number 10. This is huge, because what this means is we've officially hit the double digits in episodes, which is awesome. I want to thank you all so much for the support on this series. As we continue to get these out to you guys, I mean, it is currently Thursday. These, this is our weekly show. It usually comes out every Sunday. But uh, yeah, better better late than never, never, I guess. And this is going to be coming out on a Thursday. Thursday night for you guys. So yeah, that's where we're at. And I'm back solo today, which which is kind of unfortunate. I don't know if that's unfortunate. But like the thing is, last week I did I did tell you guys I was going to get a guest on. I was going to get Matt Nacho on this week. But I don't know. They said they couldn't really do it. So that fell through. And then I asked like three other people. And then we started a podcast. And then it just wasn't going very good. So we just rescheduled that don't worry guys we'll get that done sometime but uh definitely some other week and yeah I, and then i was finally just like all right i gotta get this done i might as well just go solo for this week the big episode number 10 and yeah next week for sure i'm gonna get a i'm gonna get a guest on he's a past guest we've had him on before but he will be on this sunday coming up and we'll get back to our usual schedule so we get these up every sunday this is just this one's just coming out on a thursday maybe we'll come out I might talk about it later why this is coming out so late, but yeah, that's where we're at, and I hope you all enjoy this episode. Welcome to episode number 10, and thank you all so much for the support. We've hit the double digits, which is which is very, very epic, and like, okay, the thing is, I don't know where people are right now in the world. Like, I don't know where you're all at with school, but uh, my school's like officially pretty much over, so I thought, I figured I'd just take the time to congratulate all the seniors of the world for completing their high school. I mean, these aren't the ideal conditions. This isn't how we wanted it to end, but uh, nevertheless, I mean, if my friends listen, I'm like, congrats, Nacho, Green Adult, I don't know, everybody. Everybody who's a senior, congrats on your graduation and best of luck on your future endeavors. Let's let's go. Even though this is it's, again, these are not. This is it's very unfortunate what's going on right now. And yeah, it's not how we wanted it to end, but it's where we're at, and we got to make do with it. And I guess it's 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 over. My school's over. I don't know where you guys are at with school, but mine's over, and it's time for summer now. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so congratulations. We got that. We got the intro done. Let's get down to business. All right, so this week, this week, I uploaded a video, which I'm just going to say, oh, a video for me, which is honestly getting rare. We'll get into this. Videos are getting rare for me, which is terrible. But I uploaded a video, and it was called, it was called, sorry about it, it was called my top five, top five wonder weapons in Call of Duty Zombies. And before that video even uploaded, I, like, scheduled it so people could see the thumbnail and stuff, and they could just go and leave comments right away and leave a like and, like, predict what the top five was going to be. Before I even did that, it even went live. Someone commented down below and like it's a comment that hit it hit hard man because basically what it did what this comment did was when i when i read it it confirmed something that i had been thinking for the past like week and when i when i read it it like it, it like hurt me and it like made me disappointed in myself so so here's what happened so basically the comment is he commented on the top five video he said when is a real video coming out and that just like boom that that's just that's the dagger in the heart man like when is a real video coming out like i just because any the thing is, he's he's literally right about that. Like my videos, all right. I started live streaming a lot recently. Okay, if you look at my past week, I think this has been one of my one of my. I think this has been my worst week on YouTube so far since I started like two months ago, because when I look at the past week, all I see are one, two, three, four, five, six Minecraft videos, all live streams. Now I know some of you guys might like the live streams, and I like doing the live streams with you guys. It's really fun to play the survival world, to talk to you guys. I mean, I don't think many of you watch the live streams for the gameplay that I got, but you just do it to communicate with me and stuff. But it's all good. The live streams are fun. But what's happened is that the live streams are tar- starting to like take over my content. And like I said, in the past week, I've uploaded, I've uploaded two videos. I mean, they're decently well-made videos. Two videos in the past week. And the thing is, when I started live streaming, I told myself, I was like, okay, I know live streaming is like easy. Honestly, the the benefits of live streaming compared to videos, okay, so live streaming, you get a lot more watch time, which is like, watch time is very important and it's awesome. But like live streams give you a lot of watch time. You know, you can interact with people live. I honestly think live streams bring in more people to watch, more new people and more subs. But in like videos, I think they bring, they give you less watch time. They'll bring in less people. But at the end of the day, I can't let the live streams take over, man, because the live streams are just, when I do live streams and upload them for videos, which is what I've done for the past week, I just feel so lazy. Like a live stream, like it, sh- it honestly shouldn't count as a video because nobody's going to go back and watch a live stream after I've made it. Like nobody, like I have this, I have this 40 minute, 35 second Smittycraft season two, episode number three, part two. 
because because of course the stream crashed like am i a good live streamer no people don't remember me for my live streams really really not all that much they remember me for the videos i think that's what sets me apart from other youtubers is that i make like different like i have a different editing style kind of i make some decent videos and i think you guys want to see more of the videos not so much of the live streams because once again these past videos are just atrocious there these aren't good content one two three four five like six in the past week i have six almost seven streams and it's just i didn't want live streaming to do this to me because when i started i was like okay I, like i like live streams i'll do this every now and then but i don't want live streams to take over my channel and because like the thing is yeah they're fun but i don't want to be remembered as the person who just does live streams because it's live streams don't set me apart like i said I don't, i'm not set apart by live streams i'm not a good live streamer because my live streams crash like it's literally a running meme meme on my channel. There's like a 50% chance that my live streams are going to crash. So I'm not a good live streamer, but I think I'm a lot more making videos. But what these live streams have done to me is I've started doing them. And I've just realized how like easy they are to do, all right? Like live streams like they'll just take up like a couple hours of the day and then you can upload them as a video and count that. And it's just they've made me lazy because the thing is live streams are just so much easier to make than videos. Videos will take up like 10 hours. But it's just, nah, it's just such a mess. I'm so disappointed in myself. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just so disappointed in myself because it's just live streams, man. Which is why moving forward, I'm I'm starting to make my schedule now. So I'm starting to make my schedule. I'm going to start live streaming. Right now I have it as four times a week, but I might lower that down to three depending how, how, long, how much these things take over my channel. Because I just want it to be that thing that I do every now and then. And it's literally evolved into the thing that I do all the time. And I really don't like that. I really don't like the direction that the channel's in right now. I don't like, I don't like, this last week has just been a big mess. And I apologize for everybody. I haven't got like any videos out. And it's just, it's really all on me. I'm very disappointed in myself. Sorry about that, everybody. I think, again, this is one of my worst weeks. I think this is the worst week that I've ever, that I've ever had on YouTube so far in the past two months, just because I'm getting so like lazy with the content. And that's why I'm making this podcast. I'm going to let you all know that I've, I realize that I'm getting lazy with the content and like starting now, I'm going to start grinding. Like this podcast is coming out, what, like five, six days late. And it had to do with, cause like this past week, I just haven't had any motivation to get videos done because the live streams were just taking up the videos and I just, Oh, the, the live streams are a mess, but we'll fix it. I'm sorry. I'm coming back. Cause like, if you go back and look at my channel, like here, we'll go two months ago back, back when I had no motivation to make videos at all. I was getting four likes a video. I had one, two, three, four. I had like five or six well edited videos uploaded every single day in a row and that's that's on that honestly impresses me and they're all just like how like some minecraft tutorial videos some opinion videos like these are all like good i want my channel to return to that state and there were no live streams they were just all videos and i think like the videos i make nowadays are better than the ones that i made a couple months ago but nevertheless there's more videos a couple months ago so i like where my channel is at back here like right here i uploaded one two three four five i uploaded like five well edited videos in a row and i just like why am i not doing that anymore i've literally lost the motivation because i think live streams again they've made me lazy and josh pointed it out in the comments he says where's the, where are the vids at and it's true because in the past week i've uploaded two videos the week before that i uploaded like one i uploaded like two videos again like it's just a mess man like I, i'm so not happy with where the channel's at right now like not with the subs like no we, I'm at 801 subs right now. I want to thank you all so much for 800 subscribers. That's crazy. I think like a week and a half ago, maybe we we're at 700. And now the fact that we're hitting 800 is incredible. And I thank you all so much for the support. I'm not mad at that, but I'm just, I'm more disappointed in myself. And I'm just here. This The main gist of this podcast is I'm back, everybody. I'm going to let you all know that uh, I'm just letting you know that I plan on starting making to upload videos every day like I used to. Maybe not every day, but basically every day I'm going to start getting videos back because these live streams have taken over my channel and I'm not proud of that. And I think it's really just hurting me because here's the thing, all right? Like I can do all the live streams I want, but I think at the end of the day, the videos are what makes people want to stay because it makes me, I don't know, a little more unique, I think, with the videos. And like the chance of if I want to hit the YouTube algorithm, <laughs> because like my goal right now, I'm still hoping for that day that I hit make one video that just gets like 60,000 views and it just it hits the YouTube algorithm and a bunch of people come watch it and it brings a bunch of attention to the channel, obviously. Obviously, that's one goal. And that's never going to happen if all I do is live streams. So if I continue to get videos up, then it's going to be fine because I know someday I'm going to have that video that comes out that a lot of people are, it's going to hit the YouTube algorithm. It's going to, a lot of people are going to see it and it's going to help the channel a lot. And hopefully that'll be like my, my start. That'll be my kickstart campaign. I don't know. That'll just be the beginning of the channel. Like not the beginning, but the beginning of like my channel blowing up, which again, I'm happy where I'm at right now. Growing a couple, what well, was it, 12 subs a day I wanted. And I think my goal is at the end of the, end of the, uh, 
end of the month. Yeah, it's currently May. What is it today? May 14th. By the end of this month, I wanted to have 1,000 subs. That was my goal. And I made that goal back at like 200 subs. So that was really ambitious. And the fact that it could be possible here. I have two weeks exactly to get 200 subs pretty much. And we're on that pace. We could easily, I don't know, easily get that. We could, If we keep grinding, we'll get that for sure. And if I get these videos coming back up to you guys, I know we'll hit that. Because the videos, the videos are... They're just, I don't know, I think, I just love doing them because they just bring us all together. They leave a lot of comments and they're so supportive. And I think that's what you people, what, what you guys want to see instead of, instead of my live streams, which I know. And that brings me to the next problem because what that means is that I have to balance videos and live streams. So currently what I have going right now is I have, my current plans are I live stream the Minecraft world on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And I'm starting to think that might be too much because that's four live stream videos a week. So what I thought about doing was like maybe reducing the live streams down to twice a week, like Monday, Saturday, maybe, because I think those would be good days to do it, Monday and Saturday. But then is that going to be enough? Are you guys going to get bored if we lose interest in the survival world if we only do it twice a week? But then what I'm doing, if, if I only stream twice a week, I'm making more time for videos, which is what I want. I want to bring videos back, even if it's Minecraft tutorials, even if it's suggestion videos like the minecraft suggested builds i haven't done any of those since april 1st and that's that's a month and a half i really want to bring those back because i just feel like i don't know i just liked the state of my channel where it was back then before i started before i started the live streams to be honest again i'm not saying that i hate the live streams i really like doing them i enjoy them a lot but uh hold up i'm gonna, I'm gonna just, sorry about this quick hopefully i don't lose my train of thought which is this yeah but yeah i'm not it's not i don't hate the live streams it's just I don't know. I've just been doing them too much. And I, again, I don't want to be the live stream guy because eh, I'm not very good at it. And if I just keep doing live streams, I'm never going to hit that, that point. Like I'm growing at a great rate right now. I'm happy, but I think I have the potential to start growing even faster. And that's only going to happen if I make videos and one of the videos, hopefully get some traction. Honestly, the videos I make right now are, I'm very happy with the way you guys support them. Like they get like 40 likes, which is insane. So thank you all so much for that. But again, like I'm not even mad. I think I'm just disappointed in myself this last week because the content is just so stale. Like, ugh. Like new people come to my channel and they see like six live streams in the past week. Yeah, they're gonna want to click on those videos. No, they're not. So they're just gonna leave the channel because like nobody wants this stuff. Whereas if you go back a month, hold on, we'll we'll find a good span of videos here. If you go back, oh, this was my best span ever. I have I had like three. I had the Roblox and two zombies video it was well edited, made in a, made three days in a row, and it was just so good. And then everything was booming, and then I just start these live streams, and then all of a sudden the videos just go down, the live streams go up, and now the live streams have taken over. But yeah, I pretty much repeated myself like a million times. If you guys just stop by quick, the gist of the podcast, I'm coming back. All right, this next week, I'm going to grind. I'm going to get the videos coming back up. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to still get like a set schedule because I need to grind, and I need to know what you guys need to know what to expect from me. So again, I really want to bring the live streams down to just twice a week. And if anybody's listening right now, if you want to leave in the comments, is twice a week going to be enough? Because I just want videos. I just, I just want videos, man. And the only way to do that is to reduce the live streams. Because I just, ugh. And I just feel like I'm spamming people's sub boxes when my streams crash. And then I have to, then I have to, like, start a new one. And it's just, it's just such a mess. And that's really just, that's not how I want to do things. That's not how I want to do things. Yeah. Like, they both have their pros and cons. I, honestly, I think live streams have more pros than, than they do cons, and the videos have, I don't really know. I don't know, like the live streams are going to help the channel out more, but I want to do more videos, just because, just because, that's that's it, I'm here for the videos, and yeah, but the live streams, will they're, they're staying, alright, they're staying, I just want to get the schedule going, so from here on out, we're going to stick the schedule strong, we're going to have the podcast on Sunday, we're going to have a top five on Friday, even though this might not stay true for this week, but next week for sure, we're going to have a podcast on Sunday, a top five on Friday, is the rest of the week open then? I want to get back into Minecraft suggested videos. I want to get a well edited video. Yeah, the rest of the week might be open. We'll figure it out though. So we only have a couple dates that are confirmed. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, we'll do the live stream of the Minecraft world, which that might change soon, but I don't know. But yeah, that's where we're at pretty much. So yeah, I'm just all letting you know with this podcast. I'm basically, I'm coming back to the channel. I mean, I feel like I took a week off here. I literally, that's one of the reasons why this podcast is coming out so late because I kind of just lost my passion this week. Like, I just got back into watching the show Supernatural, so I just, instead of making YouTube, I would just binge watch that, and I just got through a couple seasons of that recently this week, and it's, just, it's not good, and I gotta get back on the grind, because if I wanna hit a thousand, I gotta, I gotta get grinding, I gotta get going, 
And again, I want to have that video that blows up, and I'm not going to get that video that blows up if I don't make videos. So thank you, Josh, for motivating me in the comments. That comment literally hurt me when he said, like, so when's a real vid coming out? I, yeah, that's exactly what it said. And I said, like, I, resp I responded. I was like, ouch, that actually, that hit deep, man, because, like, that's what I was thinking. I was literally thinking to myself, like, dude, I literally, I have, like, two videos uploaded a week. People are probably disappointed in me that I don't even, like, make videos anymore. And just for Josh to come in the comments and say that and, like, confirm that that's how people are actually feeling. I don't know if everybody else is, but I'm feeling like that. Josh is feeling like that. So things are going to change, all right? Thank you for leaving that comment, Josh. I'm coming back. Don't worry, everybody. Next week will be a grind. And, yeah, that's that's basically where we're at. That's where we're at. And, again, I'm going to hit the grind. We're going to hit 1,000 by the end of May, hopefully. And then we'll go into the summer, and who knows what's going to happen then. Again, things are going to get busy. It's going to get crazy, and it's going to become a grind. But, yeah. That's where we're all at. And I want to thank you all so much for sticking with me if you're listening through this through this past week. Again, I just ugh, I just look at the uploads and I'm like, yuck, they're gross. And somehow I even managed to miss a day. I like I've uploaded a video every day for the past like, I don't know, fifty days. I don't know. It, it was a long time. And then I literally just missed an upload this week and all I did was live stream. It was it's just pathetic how bad this week has been. And like it's all on me. I'm just I'm so disappointed in myself. I mean, I'm very happy with the support you guys are still showing, even though I feel like my content is getting boring. Which is why it's finally time to make a change. And it started with the comment that Josh that Josh left. So thank you so much, dude, for that feedback. And that is why I love the YouTube comment section so much. Because you guys can come back. You can come by support, which is awesome. You can leave hate, which is okay. And then you can give constructive criticism and feedback, which is the best. And it's really going to help me turn the channel around here. And we're going to start making videos. Starting with the 800 subscriber special, by the way. Thank you all so much for that. That will be coming out tomorrow on Friday which I know is usually when a top five comes out. Then we'll do the top five on Saturday, then the podcast on Sunday, and then we'll get back into our normal schedule of the week. And I, do I already want to implement the live stream rule? Like just live stream the world next Monday and next Saturday? I don't know, but I don't know. I just want to limit the live streams. Even three times a week might be too much. I don't know. I just want to get the videos back. I just want to get the videos back. And it's a grind. But yeah, thank you all so much for the support as we can continue to grind. We're I'm still just trying to build up the channel. I'm doing my best. I'm happy, dude. The thing is, I'm still happy that I've managed to upload like pretty much every single day. Like I may not have uploaded every single day, but in the past like 80 days, I have like 80 videos at least. So basically I have a video day and I'm, I'm happy. And yeah, so <laughs> that's just the gist of this podcast. Basically, if you guys, if you guys were interested just to stop by, I'm coming back next week. We will have the videos back. And yeah, I'm like, I don't even have the videos made yet. I'm just saying that. So I'm literally holding myself to that. So it has to be done. Otherwise, people can reference this podcast and me saying that, and then I can be even more disappointed in myself. Because the thing is, next week, if I just have six videos that are all live streams, I'm also, I'm gonna, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be so disappointed. It's going to be bad. So hopefully I can get six videos out to you guys, a couple live streams, and we'll be good. We'll all be good. So yeah, that's coming back, and that's the gist. But uh, moving on, <laughs> I got some good news for everybody. I got some good news, all right? I made, I made some investments these past couple days. And I invested in a face cam. So my face cam that I ordered, I don't know what it's called, but it's like some 1080p, 30fps. I don't know what it was called. It, honestly, I think I got the off-brand. People tell me to get the Logitech, which is probably a great idea, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I went with the off-brand version. We'll see how good it is, though. Don't doubt the off-brand versions. It's all good. And that thing's coming next Wednesday. So my face cam is coming next Wednesday. And when the face cam comes, I plan on doing like a face reveal like right away. Even if I don't have a thousand subs, originally I was gonna do the face reveal at a thousand subs. We'll see. Maybe if we're if we're almost at a thousand subs next Wednesday, that would be crazy. Probably not though. But uh, if we are, I don't know. When am I gonna do my face reveal? Because I like I want to get the video going with the face cam right away. But I don't know. It might take me a while to hit a thousand subs when I get it. So we'll see what happens there, I guess. But nevertheless, the face cam is coming next Wednesday, Wednesday, May twentieth. Stay hyped for that. And the thing with the face cam is like, it's gonna open up so many more opportunities. I think for the channel. Like with a face cam, you can you can record reaction videos. You can do a face reveal. You can do a setup reveal if you got your face cam. I guess you don't really need a face cam for that. But you can do a setup reveal, which my setup has improved a little bit over the past like couple months. I mean, it's improved a lot, honestly, over the past couple months. But it's still nothing like crazy impressive. I'm still just streaming from a little Mac and stuff. It's not too impressive. But you can do that. You can do reaction videos. Like I think face cams really help playthroughs a lot. So... If I'm playing through a game, because like in the Discord, some people have suggested that I play games like the COD campaigns, Portal 2. So if I want to do like a walkthrough or a playthrough of those games, a face cam is going to help a lot because I think playthroughs without face cams are honestly just really boring because there's like, I don't know, you have to, I don't really know. <laughs> I think, okay, you know, here's what it is. The ultimate goal is what I'm trying to do with the face cams. I'm trying to make it so I can make videos that I don't have to edit so much so it takes me like 10 hours to edit them. 
and I think the face cam just helps me because I don't. It just it just makes content better with the face cam. I think some content, not all content, but if I have a face cam, play playthrough should be easier to make, which shouldn't take ten hours to edit. I hope, but they might. I don't know. I've never really edited a video like that where I don't put a million edits in and it's just me talking because like the thing is I usually just get bored watching it and it's just <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens though. But yeah, we got the face cam coming. I got some LED lights. I got like 60 feet of LED lights that we're going to put up in my room for the background. I got I'm, I got a pretty nice background. I got like my trophies in the background. Hopefully that looks decent. Maybe the lighting in my room is going to be good. I honestly have no good, no clue. Again, I moved my setup into my room, which is which is better. So now Gibbs won't be yelling in the background. <laughs> well, he might still be. Who knows? But uh, my old one was just sitting out in the living room in the basement. So we've improved in that way. So yeah, we're making investments here. And also I got a gaming chair, which... This gaming chair was supposed to come in June. It says Amazon says coming June 3rd to June 5th and it came in the mail today. I was actually just I was just outside mowing the lawn and I walk inside and I just see my gaming chair sitting there built all put together and it's cuz my dad saw the package come and he thought it was for my mom so he just built it and just left it there and I just walked in I was like, "Oh, that's my gaming chair that was supposed to come in June." And I was like, "All right, well, I'll take it." So, yeah, we're currently just sitting in the gaming chair, which is nice because if you guys our OG members of the podcast and OG. I mean like last week I probably complained that I had, I sat on like a really uncomfortable chair and like my neck hurt, my back hurt. It was just a mess, but now I can just, I can sit back in this thing. I can literally, I can recline. Yeah. Man, life is good. Oh, this is actually really comfortable. I've not reclined this far back yet with it, but yeah. Yeah. I can recline with this thing. It's, it's good stuff, but it's good. So we're making investments. And honestly, I would be lying if I say like, I want to hold up. I got to get the chair back up. All right. There we go. Like, I made investments in, like, some setup stuff, and, like, honestly, the goal is to someday get a return on my investment to make to make my money back on YouTube, which, like, I don't know if that sounds selfish, but, like, yeah, obviously, a goal is to someday make money on YouTube, but the thing is, like, if I, honestly, if I never start making money on YouTube, I'm still going to post YouTube videos as long as you guys are here, because, again, I'm not doing it really, for, I'm not doing it for the money, all right? I'm just doing it to have my own little community, which is so much fun, and it's working out so well, which I'm so fortunate for. Unlike my old channel, which was dead, but that was a good that was a good startup. Without the old channel, this channel wouldn't be here. There's just so many factors that led to this, and to see this, honestly, this channel thriving and the community. I really, I really enjoyed. It. It's a lot of fun, and I appreciate everybody's support on everything. Like I always say a million times, I wonder if I, do I say that too much to you guys that I appreciate what you guys do for me. But it's all good. But yeah, the thing is, like with this community, I literally just feed off your guys' feedback. My drive comes from the feedback, so I keep making videos because I know that people are gonna watch it and leave like awesome comments that I really appreciate and I enjoy and it's a lot of fun so the feedback system I'm just feeding out my energy comes from you guys leaving comments and stuff so if you guys leave and like this channel dies someday the chances are that I'm probably just gonna stop maybe but like I, like I said a couple episodes ago I need to make a video at least like once a month so if, if this channel ever dies some someday for some reason and like it gets like five views a video I'm still gonna upload a video like once a month just because for me I get bored if I don't upload videos so that's a wrap but yeah, it's all good. We made investments. We got a face cam coming. We got a chair. We got LEDs. I have a decent background. Face cam videos should be coming next week, maybe, or I might wait till I hit a thousand subs. I really don't know yet, but we'll see what happens. And like I said, next week, get ready for the grind. We're coming back, starting with the 800 sub special video, which will be coming out tomorrow. Which I got to around 800 on a zombies map again. Which, by the way, I don't get I don't get enough credit for my 800 round runs. Those things take like 50 hours to get to, but it's all good. It's all good. I do it for you guys. I don't need I don't need the credit for putting in 50 hours on the map I played to get to around 800. It's all good. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah, we're good though. We we got the investments. Um. All right. Here's something I'd say I do in the last episode. I was like, okay. Oh, hold up. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. My bad, everybody. My bad. My bad. Okay. We're good. Okay. Anyways, here's something I said I'd do in my last video. I was like, okay, so this is, did I have school last week? I don't even remember what I did last week. Oh yeah, because the last episode was a week and a half already. Because I was, uh, it comes back to me being so lazy this past week. Everybody, my six upload, no, my six live streams and my two actual videos. It's so pathetic. I didn't even get, I didn't even get a podcast on. I mean, part of it was because like I couldn't get a stable guest on. Like, my original plans for this week was to get Nacho on, and he kind of just said like no. Then I had, then I asked three other people to come on, and then we started an episode, and then it just wasn't going good, so we stopped it. And then I was finally just like, all right, I got to go solo. And it took me like two days to get the motivation to make an episode. I don't know why. Again, podcasts are overwhelming for me. They, they really do take a lot of preparation and like thought beforehand to make. And like honestly, I have these notes in my phone of every bullet point I've ever had in a podcast, and it's so long. 
starting in episode one, I literally have so many bullet points. This note page is so long. It, like I'm still scrolling. You hear that? I'm literally, I'm still scrolling. There, I just hit the bottom, and I was hauling. So there's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of content. And it's awesome because I got everything written down. But nevertheless, what was I going to say? Okay. Last episode I said, school's over for me. So I think it's I think it's fair to look back on the year because because why not? It's it's great to look reflect on things, and I don't know. I'll just give my I'll just give my thoughts on the school year. But like the thing about school, I've realized as I've gotten older is, as I've gotten older, I've started to care less and less about school, which is probably wrong. As you get older, you should probably care more and more about school because like like grades don't even matter till you're a freshman, and like <laughs> the, the exact opposite happened to me. Like. I really cared about school in junior high. Like I was a nerd. I grinded junior high out. If there was a chance to get bonus points, extra credit, I would do that. If there was any way to get my grade higher, I would do that in junior high. I completely sweated school. I was, oh, I absolutely grinded. I put the hours in and like my lowest grade in junior high was like, or like an eighth grade was my top year to 2016, which is why 2016 was a great year. Like academically, I grinded that year and everything was just amazing that year. But my lowest grade was like a 98 and that that is, that's back when school was like, I don't know, I don't know, just a 98%. And I was like, that's really good. And as I've started to grow up, like my grades have kind of dropped and I've just been like, I just care less and less about school because I've just started to realize that like looking at it as from an educational standpoint, like school is like, to me, it's like really, really useless. Like the education that I'm taught now, it's just, it's so pointless. But like, if you look at it from like a social, like learn how to interact with people, make memories with friends, interact with teachers, like a social aspect then school's great but again the education system it's just just stupid like like why am i why am i wasting time sitting in math class learning about euler's formula sine cosine tangent all that crap like that stuff's important for something out there like yeah like i don't know we can use it to find the height of stuff i don't know it's important for something i won't i won't deny that like it's important but like why is it important to me like I've already determined that I know I'm not going to teach math. Like, shout out to math teachers. I don't know how you can do that. Math math seems like one of those subjects that is just, it's so incredibly boring. <laughs> God dang it. I really don't like math. It's I, w- I have respect for anybody who wants to teach that. I mean, I guess people probably just like it. I really don't. I don't know. It's like the, like the level of math that I know right now is good enough for the rest of my life and the like the future job that I want to do, future job that I want to do. What is it? I don't really know. But it's not going to involve Sokatoa and Pythagorean theorem and all that stuff. Like, if some somebody's job out there probably does, and that's great, then you can keep learning that stuff. But why am I required to take a math math class that teaches me that stuff? Like, I don't care at all about it. I could be spending time learning something else in, in school, which which is stupid. And like English, like my, my English, my no, my my knowledge of English. Like, I'm a good enough writer and reader for the rest of my life. I don't need anything else to be like average. I'm probably above average reading and writing and all that stuff. And like, why am I sitting in an English class, a required English in English class, reading like Walt Whitman's stories and learning the lessons that he taught? Like, I don't care, man. Like, if I'm going to be an English teacher, maybe I need to know that stuff for some reason. If I'm going to be like a, I don't know, historian, I, I don't know. I don't know. Whoever needs to know that stuff, great. Like, it's useful for something, but it's not useful for me. Why am I required to take that when I could be taking other classes that I care about? Which, like, school does let you pick what classes you want to take. Like, one time I took an entrepreneurship class and that was, that was kind of fun. That was probably my favorite class a couple of years ago when I took it. Maybe that was last year, but yeah, like you can kind of pick the classes you want, but at the end of the day, like, I don't know, it's just so messed up, dude. Why am I required to take that stuff when it's not going to help me at all? It's such a waste of time. I could be getting so much better at like, like I thought about it. Like what if like my YouTube channel was a grade that then, then I would have the motivation to grind YouTube and then my YouTube channel would grow even more. I mean, I already do have motivation. Like, okay, this past week, I don't think I've had much motivation, but don't worry everybody. The motivation is coming back. Like, what if my YouTube channel was a grade for some class somehow? I don't know. Maybe that is a thing. But if my YouTube channel was a grade, I would grind YouTube, and I'd have so much fun doing it, like reporting stuff back to my teacher and telling them how it's going. Like, that would be awesome. Is there a class out there that does that? I want to take that class because that would be so much fun. And it was just, ah, that's, that's, that's how it should be because instead of learning Walt Whitman's stuff, I could be learning about stuff that I care about, which is like making f- film stuff. I don't know, starting a community. I don't know. What am I going to do with my life? Who knows? I was talking with... uh panders a, a fellow youtuber i don't know you guys probably don't know who he is i think we're gonna collab soon he's he's a great youtuber he was 25 and he told me like at the end of the day does anybody really know what they want to do with their life in high school for sure and i was like i don't know not really and he really comforted me with those words because he was like hey man when i went into college i had no clue what i wanted to do and he he went on and eventually he got to this part where he like eventually got to like tour the nation 
and like record and like film this guy's stuff. And I was like, whoa, this is crazy. I would have fun doing that. So who knows where I'm going to lead to someday? Who knows what I'm going to be doing? At the end of the day, am I interested in like filming that stuff and like making videos? Yeah, I am. Cause like, I don't ever see myself stop making videos. Like I just love doing it, man. Like I said, even if the community dies on this channel, I'm going to upload a video like once a month or something just to, just to check in with you guys. Cause I just, I get bored if I don't do it. I just, it's just something I've always enjoyed. I don't know why, why that, why that's how I am, but it, it just is what it is. And yeah, yeah. Did I just go off on a tangent on school? What was I going to do? I think I was going to look back on the year. Okay. So let's look, look back on my, my junior year of high school, my second to last year. This is a big year for a lot of people. It's their hardest year. How did it go? Okay. My junior year, like I said, like I'm starting to like lose motivation for school just because I don't really care about it that much. I don't know why, but I, I really don't. So I took the bare amount of classes, which is like six, and like one of them was like a leadership class, so that was only like once a week, and one of them was like one of them was like an art class. But to be honest, my favorite class, like to tell how good of a year this was, my favorite class I took this year was art, and like if art's your favorite class, I don't know, I, I really liked art, <laughs> but that might just be saying something that's I don't know, I can't, I don't really know what I'm trying to get to here, but I honestly really enjoyed art this year. It was my favorite class, because. Maybe it's because I'm like interested in art stuff. I don't, I don't know. But like all the other classes I took, I just didn't really like it all just because the content. It's so stupid. But anyways, I took the bare amount of classes. I took six classes. And let's see, how did my grades do? Like I once again, I've lost motivation for school. So I'm literally just doing the bare minimum to get like an A. So I think I finished the year with all A's. Like low A's though. Like our grading scale is like a 90 to 100 is an A. I think I finished with like all 92s and everything, which... My my junior high self would be so disappointed in, my, in me, which is so weird because I've just started to care less and less about school over the years. But my junior high self would be like, what are you doing? Get that up to 100. And it's, it's, I don't know. I don't really know why I've lost motivation to do stuff in school anymore. But I'll just do whatever it takes to get the bare minimum A. Like right now I have assignments missing, but I still have an A in the class, so I'm not going to do them. But whereas in junior high, if I had assignments missing, I would do them no matter what, even if I had an A. So like my motivations have just changed so much. But yeah, that's classes. Okay, let's let's get into like the actual year. Okay, so let's see. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, well, what our football team, dude? We get like uh, we got to like the quarterfinals. All right, well that's decent. Yeah. Okay, no, we weren't gonna win state. But anyways, I played uh, all I got in this year was a basketball season. Unfortunately, that's that's the only sport I usually I usually play. I would have played basketball and track this year, but my track season got canceled for obvious reasons. Unfortunately, oh that really sucks. Like once again track is just that sport if, if anybody out there's went out for track i feel like it's that sport that just everybody just makes fun of and hates but everybody loves because like i'm a distance runner especially which is why people <laughs> would hate it so i run like the mile two mile i don't know the 800 sometimes and every time i'd walk out there and talk to the people i'm running against they'd be like why am i doing this to myself why am i here and it tracks just that sport we're all like Ugh, we, we why are we doing this to ourselves why are we doing this but at the end of the day it's the sport that we all love because it's like the social interactions honestly like i'm not even a social person i'm literally like one of the biggest introverts ever and like not ever i don't know but i'm a, I'm a big introvert and like even i like the social interaction part of track it's just it's just a lot of fun man just sitting all day with people from like i mean not that i've done a whole lot but there's just like there's like 20 schools there and you can just communicate if you want it's, it's a great time that's what makes track great it's not even the sport it's just the fact that there's like 20 schools there and you're there all day and it gets you out of a lot of school i don't know if getting out of school is a good thing exactly but uh yeah, it does that for you if you want to do that. So anyway, yeah, my track season got canceled, which is very unfortunate. Oh, man, god dang it. That's right. Actually, I think regionals, regional track would have been this week, which means state would have been like next week or two weeks from now. Yeah, it would have been two weeks from now, which, dang it, dude, state track is so much fun. Oh, I'm so mad that state track isn't happening this year, dude. State track, track and field is like underrated, man. It's one of those sports that I I could watch like all day, not participate in, but watch. I could watch it all day just because you have to like respect the people who are grinding out track. It's it's not easy at all. And it's, it's a great sport to test people's physical capabilities and see who's the good athletes. But yeah, yeah, that's track. Okay. So that never happened. <laughs> so yeah, so my track season never happened. Basketball season did happen. I got all the way through my basketball season and we ended up getting third in the region, which isn't a bad, a bad end. First in the region goes to state. We got third. And state didn't happen, unfortunately. So the team that got first, they didn't even get to go to state. So if we would have went to state anyways, it it wouldn't have happened. And my parents would have been freaking out because they would get very mad over that type of thing. But uh, yeah, we got third in the region in our, for our basketball team. Fun fact, to win the district, which is before regionals, we got second in districts. We would have got first in districts, but I missed a like, wide-open layup for the game-winning layup. It was wide open, and I missed it, <laughs> which is hilarious. I like fell over and lost the ball. Oh, man. 
I promise I'm not terrible at basketball, but I just choked because I was thinking about the clock too much. But anyways, I missed a buzzer beater layup to win the game. So basketball, we got third in regions. That's all right. It was a fun year, I think. It was decent. It was my best year since since my freshman year. And my freshman year was my best year ever, I think, because I just used to grind. That was so much fun, my freshman year. But that was back in 2017. And that year was a vibe. This year has not been much of a vibe. But that's where we're at. And let's see what our volleyball team do. Our volleyball team got second at state. So it was fun to go to state volleyball again, and we got second. Dude, my school was like cursed. We're known as the people who were, we're never going to win anything, my school. <laughs> like, I don't know. Just every single sport we're cursed. Like, volleyball, we've gotten second in state for the last couple of years. Football, I don't know. Football, we, people, it's so hard to win state in football. Basketball, we've not even gotten out of districts until this year for the past, like, five years. I don't know. The moral of the story, my whole school, all of our sports, we're just known to choke and just be terrible. And it's just, it's funny. And we're just the type of school we go through, like, coaches, like, every other year, you'll get a new coach. And it, I don't know. It's kind of a mess, our sporting program. But our wrestling program is strong. That's that's what we're known for, really. That's our only, like, amazing program. Our football program second, then probably, like, volleyball or something like that. Those three, top three for sure. And then our basketball programs are kind of dying. It's all good, though. It's whatever. And, yeah, so track season was canceled and, like, prom's probably going to get canceled. I don't really know at this point. <laughs> or we could have prom in, like, the end of July or something. But that would just be weird. It's it's all messed up. So, yeah, but considering I missed, like, three months out of the year for this school year, I'd say it was just it was so weird. Like, who would have known that coronavirus would would snowball into this big of a deal? Like, again, I've told the story, but I remember I remember when my superintendent came across the, the intercom speaker, and he was like, what did he say? He was like, the North Dakota High School Activities Association has officially sta- stated that, uh, <laughs> has officially stated that uh, we're going to cancel all high school events for now. And I just thought that was crazy, and now here we are, and the year's over, and it's been like three months. And I've missed three months of who knows what would have been what with track. Memories, I don't know. What would have happened? Would I have been going to state? Probably not. I'm just average in track, to be honest. I'm nothing too crazy. I'm nothing special. Like, oh, for reference, like, what's my 800 time? This might be embarrassing, but it's like 223. We'll say 223 for my 800 time, which isn't good. It's not impressive, but it's it's okay. My mile time's like under 530. My best effort's a 516, so yeah. If anybody cares or if anybody knows if that's quick. And then my two-mile time is, I forgot. But I was decent at the two-mile. So I probably wouldn't have went to state, but nevertheless, I missed. I probably missed a whole lot of memories with with prom and track and state state basketball. I was going to go to state basketball, but that got canceled. I was going to go to state track, but that got canceled. Really is tough. It's a tough time. And, yeah, it's just so weird. Oh, that's a rip. It's a rip, man. And now the thing is, it's probably going to go into my senior year, too. Like, I'm sure we'll still be facing coronavirus crap by the by the start of my senior year and like what if the football season gets canceled or something stupid what if what if the basketball season gets canceled what if all of next year gets canceled at this point it might it might actually happen like we don't even know the future like i think we're good to reopen we should be we should be about good i mean take it case by case but uh, i don't know at the end of the day this could affect us well into the next year probably which is very unfortunate but yeah yeah man the coronavirus like why 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 china why it's all on china i'm sorry trying you gotta do this to us like that I don't like China. But anyways, yeah, that was my school year. Looking back on it, I mean, considering I missed three months, it went decent, I guess. I don't know. It is what it is. At the end of the day, I can't really, I can't control it. And I guess <sighs> life's too short to be mad about this kind of stuff, so I'm, I'm over it. My mom's always like, oh, you just don't care about anything. Like, I don't know. I just I just tend to get over things right away because, like, life's just too short to be mad and just be all grumpy about this. And just every time you hear coronavirus, just be like, oh, get all upset over it. I don't know. It's, it's whatever. I'm over it, honestly. And yeah, that's where we're at. So school year is over. It's time to grind the summer. Let's get let's go hit the lake. I think I'm hitting the lake this weekend. So let's go, baby. Let's go. It's finally time. Maybe it's gonna be freezing out there, but <laughs> nevertheless, do anything to ride the jet skis early. So yeah, that's where we're at. All right. Well, that's about it. Wait, what time are we at here? Thirty-nine minutes. Let's say thirty-nine minutes. About. Yeah. So that's the end of my notes. So we're at eighty-one bullet points in. It's like, like I said, all the bullet points I've ever written are on this one. This one note page on my phone so it's getting so long it takes me so long to scroll through it hold up i can't even am i drawing right now what am i even doing is there a way to is there a way to find like the amount of words you've typed on a notes thing because i would be very interested to see that because like the thing is like english teachers all right if you let people like write stuff on topics that they're interested in i could write forever not forever but i could write a lot on a topic that i'm interested in whereas if you make me write about shakespeare's crap i don't care at all but if you let me write about things that i care about like these podcast ideas, I just I care about them, so I just start typing, and I just sit there for like forty minutes, and I'll just type out a good like thousand words. I don't know how many words it is, but it's a lot. 
and it's a grind. So I got a lot of bullet points here. I really wish there's got to be a way to see how many words are on here. I don't know how. I'll maybe look it up sometime. But yeah, I thought it'd be fun to go back to the top of the list and start at the first notes I ever took for episode zero of the Smithify podcast, which was only two months ago. But hey, let's reflect on it. So yeah, but anyways, if you guys want to sign off, I guess if you want, this episode was basically just, I'm coming back to YouTube this next week. I'm going to grind. I promise. And I don't have the videos made yet, but I'm holding myself to it. And if I fail, I'm going to look back on this podcast and be disappointed, which is why we got the podcast. And I don't know, I'm making so many like weird hand motions right now to go with my words. And you just heard a bone crack, but it's, I'm coming back. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. That's it. If you guys want to dip, that's, that's the basics. All right. But anyways, going back to the top of the list, we have, I taught, I called it the podcast, right? Episode number zero, we have intro welcome. Thank you all so much for 20 subs. That's the first note. Thank you all so much for 20 subs. That was, I, once again, the, this podcast was in fact the 20 subscriber special. And I remember how much of a grind it was to get 20 subscribers, man. It was such a grind. I was making videos. I was getting like four likes. I was like, come on, I just need to get some subs coming. I just need to get a little bit of traction. And then finally, because like not me and Nacho agreed, at 20 subs we start the podcast, and I wanted to start the podcast so bad, I just I started grinding. I had to get 20 subs. I had like 15. I thought about like subbotting myself and making five accounts, but I'm gonna be honest, I didn't make five accounts. I stayed strong to my word, and I got five subscribers legit. And finally, at the 20 sub special, I was able to make a podcast, and I made the Sminify Podcast episode number one at 20 subscribers. Even though the thing is. Once I started gaining subs, I started gaining them kind of quick. So, like, it was the 20 subscriber special, but when I made the first episode, I was at, like, 40 subs. So, yeah, that, that's the thing. It was crazy, though. The first episode was at 40 subs, and now I have an episode every week tracking my progress up to 800 subs so far, which is insane. Hopefully, we can keep going, hit 1,000, 1,000, four digits, four digits. That's insane. And I'm just going to keep grinding. I love the podcast. We got it weekly. Keep coming back every Sunday, everybody. Let's get it. Thank you all so much for 20 subs was the first bullet point. And then it's why I wanted to do this. I'm going to answer these questions right now. Why do I want to do this podcast? Smith, I, for this, I put, the, I, I took, I took inspiration from the Smith squad podcast, which is still so true. The Smith plays. Thank you so much for your podcast, dude. You've inspired me to, to make my own. You've taught me like, it doesn't have to be professional. Just sit down with a mic and talk about whatever you want to talk about, dude. And like look back on it and just upload it. People might take something away. I don't really know what you can take away from this episode, but it's just, it's just good content to have for later and to get better at speaking. All right. Like I thought if I started this podcast, I would get like less like socially awkward with my with my like speaking. I'm like introvert person. Like the thing about me with like public uh, public what am I looking for? Discussions, public interactions, like communicating with people. I'm just like so awkward. I don't know. I just like forget things to say, man. Like and then sometimes I'll just like I won't hear them, and then like what'd you say? And I'll ask them like three times, and it's just. And I've kind of realized that like doing this podcast, I don't even know if that's going to change that. I'm always just going to be like the socially awkward introvert dude and like, I'm not like really weird but I'm just saying like I'm pretty socially awkward with the conversations and stuff but like I don't think that's ever going to change with the podcast so I don't know that probably won't ever happen I thought that, that this would change it but it's, it hasn't changed that much but yeah it's definitely helped the podcast have come easier for me to make like the first one I did with Nacho and Matt was just absolutely terrible I was laying on my back in my bed it was like it was like 11 p.m. it was just absolutely terrible it was so uninteresting and now I'm just getting a lot better at this. And like things just show up in my mind. I'm almost, I haven't looked at my notes like this whole time, which means I'm getting better at just coming up with things and not having to look at my notes, which is good. That means we're making progress in that respect. But again, at speaking, having more better conversations, being more like extroverted, I guess. I don't know if that's ever going to change. I'm kind of just who I am. And that's how it is. Schedule for the podcast was a question mark. Originally, I thought I'd be able to get multiple podcasts up a week. All right. So, no way I could ever get multiple podcasts up a week anymore. These things are an absolute grind. Like, I thought maybe I'd be getting one up, like, every couple days, but no, it's a weekly thing. It takes so much preparation. I, it's got to be a weekly thing. There's no way they're going to be coming out, like, twice a week or nothing like that. It's crazy. But, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, my fourth bullet point. Schedule for the podcast, question mark? No, it's it's once a week. My my previous self, my past self, they're only becoming once a week, not multiple times. I'm sorry. They are a grind to make. It takes a lot of thinking. Got to come up with some topics to talk about and, yeah, see how it goes. And I try to keep you guys here for an hour, which is the goal. And if I do that, then I find that successful. But, again, I'm trying to keep myself here for an hour in the future when I'm listening back and I can listen. And, like, me talking for an hour, again, like, my friends in real life, there's no way they'd ever expect me to make a podcast. Like, I, I uploaded my first episode and my friend was like, wow, a podcast. That's, like, the last thing I would expect from you because it's so true because I'm, like, the quiet kid. But I don't know. I feel like I'm the quiet kid who's got, like, a lot of stuff to say, but I'm just not good at putting it into words. So I just thought... I do a podcast. Let's do it. Let's see how it goes. And it's been successful and we are grinding. So yeah, plans for the podcast is my next thing. Friends or topics. 
plans for the podcast. My plans for the podcast is to just keep it coming every week, talk about whatever I want to, keep it personal with you guys. Honestly, this all remains true. This is what I thought. This is why I started to keep it personal, to do it for myself, to get friends on topics. Yeah, it's all good. Everything stays true here from week one. I remember what I said. Plans for the channel. I wonder what I said to this. What content? I don't want to be confined. Oh, okay. Okay. Plans for the channel. I remember what I said. My original plan for this channel was to upload a video on like any game out there and you guys would enjoy it. And that kind of stays true. I want to be able to make videos on any game and you guys enjoy it. But what I found out is when I, I was like, for, at one point with the channel, I was forcing myself to make videos on like other games. Like I made a Mortal, I forced myself to make a Mortal Kombat video. I bought Mortal Kombat just to make a video on it, just because I had to stick true to my motto, which was like, I'm gonna post videos on a whole bunch of different games and bring a bunch of different communities together. And the thing is, like, I have to make sure that I enjoy playing the game when I, if I play a different game. So once again, I was playing the Mortal Kombat game. Like it was Mortal Kombat's okay. It's not amazing. It's it's an okay game. It just gets old because you do the same thing over and over. I made a Mortal Kombat video, I edited it, I uploaded it, and it was just like, it didn't perform good, nobody really wanted to see it, I didn't enjoy making it, so I was like, okay, yeah, like, I still want to be able to upload whatever game I want and have you guys enjoy it, but like, I don't want to force myself to do that, because at the end of the day, I realized that the only games I have fun uploading are Minecraft and Zombies. Those are like, not, maybe not the only games, but those are the ones that I want to be, like, the most uploaded on my channel, are Minecraft and Zombies, those are my two favorite games for sure to upload currently. But yeah, I'm definitely going to branch out to other things sometime. Not like branch out, but just upload other series coming. Like maybe a Portal 2 series. Call of Duty campaign series. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. But anyways, my, my notes here said I didn't want to be confined to a couple games. And honestly, that's still true. But I don't know. Zombies of Minecraft are where it's at. The state of YouTube. It's hard to do this, is what I said. That is so true, dude. That is so true. It's so hard to make it on YouTube today. Because like, the thing about YouTube is I realized, yeah, if... Honestly, I think if you if you've earned it, like you'll get what you earn on YouTube. I honestly think like if, as long if you grind, you're eventually gonna get traction going. You're gonna get some recognition. You might hit the recommended, and yeah, like if you if you'll get what you deserve. Honestly, I think on YouTube, I think that's fair to say. Honestly, like YouTube's not gonna help you out at all. But if you really try, if you collaborate with people, if you stay active, if you upload every single day, you're gonna get a following. And like no joke, like for real, that's what you gotta do. And if you do that. But of course, you, like your content has to be decent. Like some people will be like, "Hey, I'm uploading like every day," and I'll look, and it's like just like live streams that are like 40 minutes. And I'm like, "Okay." The thing is, if you just want to start YouTube like a small channel and just start live streaming right away, I'm gonna be honest, it's really hard to get a following that way because like nobody really knows who you are. So like they'll just join your live stream, and they'll, you have to be very entertaining. And what I'm saying is, it's hard to like draw people in with a live stream. It's much better to like make videos first to get a little following, just a little following, and then you can start doing live streams. Like what I did was. I got a following for like a month. I spent like a month getting a little following and then I did my first live stream, which was like zombies and it performed pretty well and I was happy with it. And then from there, I just started to do more live streams, more live streams, and now I'm doing too many live streams and I'll get back to making videos for you guys. I'm very sorry. I apologize again. The videos are coming back. But yeah, like I said, if you're going to start a YouTube channel, make videos instead of live streams. If you want to get big anyway, like if you want live streams to go look back on, that's great. But if you want to get big on YouTube, make videos first, all right? Make videos, unless you're like a really good streamer. You have to be really good if you want to get a following right away. But if you make videos first, you'll get that following, and then they'll maybe tell your friends. Then if you can get 15 likes, you'll hit recommended. And then, yeah, people start to catch your streams and stuff. So, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I wasn't going to say it's hard to make it. It is hard to make it on YouTube, but I think you'll get what you deserve on this on this platform. So, yeah, that's where we're at. And, yeah, I love doing this. That's only my only bullet point. It was the eighth bullet point. I love doing this. That is so true, dude. I love doing YouTube. Like, as a hobby, it's so much fun. Like, making videos for feedback, it's, it's what I've always wanted to do. Something I've always wanted to do, and it's so much fun that it's coming true for me right now. And to say that I love doing it even back then is so true, because to see that I love doing it even when, like, nobody was watching or listening was great. And now the fact that people are watching watching and listening while I'm doing it makes it so much better. And I, once again, I appreciate everybody for the support. This is one of my dreams, and it's coming true, and it's awesome. And I'm going to continue to grind for you guys, and I'm sorry about the past week. We'll get better in that. But, yeah, I only had... I only had 10 bullet points for the first episode. I remember I had no clue what, like how long it was going to be. I just, I put 10 bullet points down to see how long that would last me. And I think it lasted me like 28 minutes, which actually isn't bad considering the fact I put like 80 bullet points now. And that lasts me like 40 minutes usually, but I have like 80 bullet points now. My first episode ever, I had 10, ep 10 bullet points in the, in the notes. So yeah, it's, it's crazy how much, how much things have changed in just the past two months. But yeah, this is the podcast has been going for two months already every single week which is incredible. And I'm sorry this one's coming out late, but it's incredible. It really is. 
All right, let's see. So that that was the end of the episode one. Peace out, I said. Literally one of the one of the uh, bullet points is just peace out. So yeah, yeah. Let's see. For, oh, this is so true, dude. Later in the notes, I said this. This was an episode that didn't happen yet. These bullet points, but it said the first episode, the first ever podcast I did. I said it felt refreshing to me. That is so true, dude. The first episode I did, it felt so good to just say what I thought and put it out there. And it, like, I encourage everybody to do it because for me, I don't know, it was it was it was really refreshing. I felt like I just had things to say and I put it out there, and it was well received. I think, and it's just so true. And it, I, that doesn't really, it's not as true today that it, it's refreshing because like I'm used to doing them now, so I don't feel as good after making one. But nevertheless, after finishing a podcast, there is something about it. You do feel good about yourself. And usually, what I do after a podcast is I just lay down in bed and listen to it. And it's, it's, a, it's, that does feel good, man. Listening to a podcast right after I make it, it really, it really does hit different. I'm telling you, listening to your own podcast, what you had to say, critiquing it in your mind, like literally I'll do a podcast then sit down and listen to it and disagree with myself. It's so weird how people just change all the time, but there, pod, there's something about it, man. Podcasts are really refreshing and it feels, it's, it's a satisfaction of talking for an hour and completing that goal and getting it out there. And it's just. I'm so impressed that I can do it with my, my, honestly, myself. I'm impressed that I can do this. It's, 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 it's fun. And I'm going to keep it going every Sunday. Check back. But yeah, that's where we're at. The first episode felt refreshing to me. That's so true. That still stays true. These episodes are still refreshing to get these out to you guys. And I hope you're all enjoying them. What's this? I'm bored. I'm getting bored of going through the same cycle every day with school. Wow, dude. Little did I know. Little did I know that school, that soon school is going to be over, dude. It's, Hey, Smitty, Smitty of two months ago, your school's going to get canceled in like a week. Honestly, the coronavirus was a thing, I think, when my first episode went out, but we probably had like two weeks left of school before it was going to get canceled for the rest of the year. But that's crazy to look at. One of my notes says, I'm getting bored of going through the same cycle every day with school. Wow, it's crazy I felt that way because I haven't felt that in a long time because I haven't went to school in three months. But yeah, that's that's kind of true, man. School school is very repetitive, but I've like forgotten what school was because I haven't been there in so long. It's so weird. <laughs> Oh, man, that's weird. Old news story. Oh, this is... Oh, yes, dude. This was episode number one with Nacho and Matt where we're just talking about the coronavirus. I have... Indian man hangs himself because he thought he had the coronavirus and he did it for his family, dude. That is so sad, that news story. Ted Cruz and another guy have quarantined themselves because they think they have it. Yeah. So this is us just talking about it. We, we really didn't know what it was. We were like, is it really that important? And then at the end of the day, it turns out it kind of was as it shut down the entire world. Once again, thank you, China. I could never run for political office, I said. That is straight facts, man. You want to know what the problem with politics is today? People take everything so personally. If you disagree with them on a political standpoint, you're disagreeing with them You're personally. They take it so personally. They're like, you're insulting me if you disagree with my politics. And it's, it's just so bad, the state of politics these days. And it's just, it's everybody, like one form of debate, everybody's just taking shots at each other, calling the other person stupid. That's one of the main forms of debate these days. And it's, it's not even debating if you just call somebody stupid. Like, it works. It's really effective. But I see that, and I'm just like, okay, that's stupid. Like, why did you just call that person stupid? That that, that didn't make any progress with with the debate if you're just sitting there calling the other person dumb the whole time. And that's really what it's come to. And that, it helps. Like, it works a lot. Just calling the opponent stupid, it works so well. But it's just, ah, it's just so bad what politics has come to, man. It's just so much more personal. And like, ah. Oh. It's sometimes it's not even people trying to agree on things. It's just people trying to attack the other person to make them look stupid, which is kind of what a debate is. Like you kind of want to do that, but it's just too much of it anymore. I couldn't run for political office just because like everybody just takes things so personally. People like half the country would want me dead. Half the country would love me and praise me. It's it's so weird, dude. It's so weird. I wish I don't know. It's I could never do that. I could never do that. That'd be awful. Shout out to politicians. Their job is just yuck. I don't know. Some people, hey, if you want to be a politician, do it. It's not easy, for sure. So yeah, I asked Matt what he missed most about what do you? Where do we get our news? Me, Ben Shapiro. That stays true. I still get my news from Ben Shapiro. But the thing is, I don't even like watch. The, I don't watch the news, as Noah Ritter once says. I don't really, I don't really watch the news anymore because all this is coronavirus. Like we'll be sitting at supper, we'll turn on, we'll turn on the TV, and it'll just be like, it'll, we'll watch Fox News. And my parents will be like, oh my god, everybody's wearing masks. Look at them standing six feet apart. Like why are we still freaking out about this? Like we know it's the coronavirus, mom and dad. We don't got to point out every little precaution people are taking on tv and you don't gotta freak out about it that just makes me kind of mad but yeah yeah but yeah for news i don't even watch the news anymore because that's all it is it's just coronavirus and i don't really i don't really care anymore to be honest about the news so yeah we're all good what's good bro how you doing is this the kyle ferrari episode kyle ferrari shout out to you man i think we're gonna get get you back on soon here 
I've never conducted an interview before. Yes, dude. I can't believe that I've had a podcast episode with people from Florida. I've had somebody from Utah. Is that it? If I I've had if I if I only had two guests on? Florida, Utah. I've had a couple friends on. Yeah. I'm really happy because like originally I thought I'd be too shy to like get guests on and I wouldn't be able to like interview them and speak with them, but it's turned out to be pretty well. And I've got a lot of my friends on. Greenmeyer, Nacho, Matt, I've gotten Exotic, I've gotten Kyle Ferrari on. Is that it? I feel like I might be forgetting somebody. I've gotten myself on. I don't no, that's about it. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Again, I've always had this feeling that deep down inside I had things to like say and it might be interesting to put it out there and it's really turned out pretty well. I don't know how this episode's going. I don't know. I've been talking a lot, so I don't know. Have I been making good sense? I don't know. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it though. Yeah. So very, right away, I didn't know if I was going to be able to have guests on because I thought I'd be too shy. And now I'm just like, hey, let's get some guests on. Why not? And like, I have plans to get people on from Canada and the UK and it's just, it's going to be awesome. I love, I can't wait for the future of the podcast to see how many episodes I can get in. I just, I just came up with this goal in my head. What if I can get more than like 170 episodes or however many the Smith Plays has and see if we can beat that. That is so many episodes. I got to respect the grind. I literally went in the Smith Plays and asked him if he would come on the podcast just because why not? Because yo, yo, okay, I'm making the score right now. My ultimate goal with the podcast is get the Smith Plays on. That would be, is that out of my league? Is he out of my league for the podcast? Right now he's got a couple million subs, but hey, I can maybe get him on. That would be a dream come true, man. That'd be incredible. Yeah. That's, that's definitely a future goal. That's the main goal of the podcast, everybody. Get the Smith Plays on. At the Smith Plays, join the podcast. That'd be awesome because he is the biggest inspiration. So to get him on and get his thoughts on stuff, that'd be crazy. <laughs> that'd be crazy. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Advice to younger people I had. Yeah, dude, it's all – advice to younger people is all cliche, but it's all just so true. Just make <sighs> – take advantage of every – just don't – live life to the full span, live life like it's your last because like we didn't know this coronavirus would happen and now here we are, we can't do anything. It's just crazy. And I have some people who watch from like middle school and they're like, hey, I'm in middle school. I'm like, you better enjoy those days. My middle school days were awesome. But here's the thing, like right now, I also have to enjoy the days I'm in right now because you know what? In five years, I'm gonna look back on these days I'm gonna be like, oh, I wish I could go back to my junior year. And it's so true. So you, everybody sit down right now. We're in the good old days right now, okay? Everybody's like, I wish somebody would have told me when the good old days were. We're in them right now. So sit down and enjoy your time here because quit reminiscing on the old days. I know I do it a lot too. We all do it. We all look back and we just worry about the old days. We miss them. We're in the good days right now, everybody. We're in them right now. Five years from now, you're going to want to come back to this time, probably for many of us, and we're in them. So just enjoy them right now while we're in it. And I'm going to enjoy it because it's my junior year. Six years from now, I'm going to be like, I wish I was back in high school. And like I've talked to people in my life, James, they're like, hey, enjoy your last year of high school. I wish I was back in it. I'm in college facts i gotta enjoy it we're in the good old days right now i'm just letting you all know i'm just letting you all know we're in the good old days if you want somebody to tell you when they are they're right now so just enjoy it all right (laughs) there you go just went on a little rant there but i was just thinking about that song by macklemore i wish somebody would have told me when we're in the good old days or whatever they're here you're living them right now so enjoy it and don't take it for advantage just enjoy every moment yeah that's where we're at (sighs) gaming opinions best cod Black Ops 2 first, Black Ops 3 second, Bez Zombies map, Origins, then Mob the Dead. Thoughts on the current state of YouTube? It's kind of cancerous. It's kind of corporate, but it's it's all right. It's it's still awesome. It's still the best social media app. Minecraft is amazing. Your first console, the Game Boy, which was an amazing console, or the Wii, or the Xbox 360. The 360 is my favorite console. Old games you used to play. Mar- Super Mario Galaxy, man. <laughs> I'm literally answering questions that we've already had on the podcast. I'm just going through old notes right now, everybody, if you want my opinions on stuff. But yeah. What are we at? Oh, we're currently 58 minutes in already. Okay, so we got three minutes left. I'll start wrapping things up here. Is there any, like, is there any, like, deep outro I have? I don't know. I feel like I've been holding back a couple things on the podcast. We haven't really had, like, a deep discussion episode, and I promised that in the first episode. They'll be they'll be coming. Like, I asked Nacho if he was down for, like, a deep discussion episode, and we haven't quite got there yet. So they're coming. Don't worry, guys. Eventually, we're going to get... I'm, I, there's still things that I don't really want to talk about on the podcast, but I'm definitely, in a couple years, I'm going to be free to open them up. I'm going to open up about, like, everything. I don't really... I don't know. Like, I have a filter right now, but eventually eventually, I want this thing to get even more personal with you guys. So, yeah. That's where we're at. This is the Sminify Podcast, episode number 10. Again, we've hit double digits. Pretty sure this is our 11th episode, technically, but it's really the 10th episode by title. <sighs> that felt like a really long hour, not going to lie. It took me like a half hour to get the intro done with this. I can't lie. I don't know why. I just kept having the feeling that somebody was going to walk in on me. It's not that I had a hard time starting. I just always have this feeling somebody's going to walk in on me. So, like, anxiety, I don't know. But yeah, that's where we're at. And I appreciate it. If you guys are still listening, holy crap. Thank you. That's awesome. I mean, I'm probably listening right now. I'm sitting on my back in my bed. It might be nighttime. I don't know. 
It's been a lot of fun. Spinify Podcast, every Sunday, check back. We're going to keep grinding these out because they're awesome. One of my favorite series I do. Thank you, Josh, TNT Gaming, for that comment you left. You really brought into words what I've been thinking recently, which is that my content's been getting lazy. You asked me, when, when are the real vids coming out? And they're coming this week, man. We're going to get back on a regular schedule, Podcast Sunday, Top 5 Friday. We're going to grind the rest of the week. Live streams are staying. Everybody, we're staying. We're vibing. We're chilling. Thank you all so much for the support. Like, literally, this is one of my dreams, and it's coming true, and I appreciate it. Hopefully, I can hit 1,000 subs before the end of May. We're on pace. Two weeks to do that, and 1,000 subs. That's four digits. That's going to be crazy. Holy crap. We're going to have to get to around 1,000, which might take me, like, 200 hours on some maps, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. All right, well, yeah, we're going to end it here. What do you know? The podcast is going to be an hour and one minute long, like they all are, because that's literally, I'm a perfectionist. I'm OCD, they all have to be an hour and one minute. I appreciate everybody listening. 30 seconds to kill. Yeah, I'll hit a little... There, there's your little beatbox outro. I don't know. And we're going to head out. It's been the Sminify Podcast, episode number 10, double digits. I'm repeating myself to add 30 seconds because you already know it's got to be a minute, one minute, an hour and one minute. I do be rambling, though. Hey, and if, if you guys want to be guests, leave a comment. I have quite a long line of guests already, but hey, I'll get you on eventually. I have multiple people. I should have the next couple of weeks filled. We should have guests on next week. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get, we'll bring the guests back. This has been our third solo episode in a row. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. <sighs> yeah, dude. I really like doing this podcast. It's good opening up, and again, it's a little refreshing. And this is going to be coming out tonight. Tomorrow, expect the 800 sub special. And after that, we're going to get the grind going next week. We're going to get going. 1,000 subs by the end of May. Let's do it. Thank you all for listening so much. This has been the Spinify Podcast, episode number 10, double digits. Peace out, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you have a great rest of your year. Hopefully you're all are doing fine. Peace out.